the way that the UK exam is used varies from medical school to medical school and some universities will place more emphasis on it than others. Understanding how each university uses the UK exam is a critical part of the application process and it can mean the difference between an acceptance or a rejection. So in this video we're going to look at how some of the best medical schools in the UK use the UK exam and what this means for you so that you can apply strategically and increase your chances of receiving an offer. Let's get into it. Firstly, let's take a look at the University of Aberdeen. The UCAT scores of each individual are evaluated in the interview selection process, but this isn't the only factor that they look at, as they will consider your actual and predicted academic achievements. There is no minimum UCAT cutoff score, and your UCAT score will be compared to other applicants who have applied to Aberdeen. Also, the situational judgment test is not really scored but it may be used to differentiate between candidates who have scored a similar result. The lowest UCAT score accepted in 2023 was 2,670 for home students, 2,760 for applicants from the rest of the UK, and 2,800 for international students. Now let's move on to Anglia Roskin University. There is no official UCAT cutoff score, but students who score a band 4 in the situational judgment test will not be considered for an interview. The lowest UCAT score accepted for interview in 2023 was 2,570 for home students and 2,640 for applicants from the rest of the UK. Now let's have a look at Aston University. There is no specific UCAT criteria because your score will be used in conjunction with many other academic requirements. As a result, neither the UCAT or the Situational Judgment Test has an official UCAT cutoff score. Aston University uses a scoring system and they give points for every applicant. Now your academic achievements can score you up to 24 points. They will also look at your UCAT score which can give you up to 12 points and together these will add up to a total of 36 points. And here are the criteria that Aston University use for UCAT scoring. A score between 3,500 and 3,600 is worth 12 points. A score between 3,400 and 3,490 is worth 11.5 points. A score between 3,300 and 3,390 is worth 11 points and so on. And the cutoff score to receive an interview at Aston University was 31.5 points in total. So now let's take a look at the University of Birmingham. Here there is no minimum UCAT cutoff score either. Your overall UCAT score, excluding the band of your SJT, will be ranked in accordance to the scores of other candidates. The scores will be divided into decils and each decil will have its own score. For example, the top 10% of applicant scores will be in the top decil and they will receive a maximum score of 3.5. For reference, the decil ranges used in 2020-2021 converted to a 0 to 3.5 scale are as follows. Please do bear in mind that these scores may vary from year to year, depending on how the overall cohort does. Your band score for the SJT, on the other hand, will only be used at interview stage. Moving on to the University of Bristol. With the exception of the situational judgment test, your overall score from each of the subtests will be used to classify you for an interview. Applicants with an overall UCAT score of 2,910 or higher were invited to interview for 2024. The number utilised as an interview criterion will vary from year on year though. For Cardiff University and the University of Dundee, there is no official minimum UCAT score cutoff, but it is stated that it may be used as part of the selection process, although it's not very clear how. For the University of East Anglia, again there is no minimum UCAT cutoff score, and although a high UCAT score is desirable, a low UCAT score will not automatically disqualify you. Applicants are ranked depending on how they score in the UCAT, and this will determine whether they are selected for an interview. The average UCAT score interviewed at East Anglia last year was 2,839. 
Next is Edge Hill University. The UCAT results will be used to rank students who meet all of the academic requirements. Depending on the number of interviews to be held, they will set a UCAT criteria. And applicants who score high enough on the UCAT will be invited to interview. The university's UCAT threshold will vary year on year though, depending on how everyone does in that admissions cycle. For example, the average UCAT score invited to interview in 2023 was 2,748. Also, any applicant who scores a band 4 on the situational judgment test will be automatically disqualified. Let's now look at the University of Edinburgh. For 2025 entry, you are expected to meet a minimum UCAT score of 2,450. Any applicant who scores below this will not be considered. After receiving all of the UCAT scores, they are split into deciles and then are given a score. Your band for the situational judgment test will also be given a score. These points are then added to your academic score to give you a total overall score, which will determine whether you are invited to interview or not. When final selections are made and there are students who are scoring very similarly, then they may look at your overall application again to see who to shortlist for interview. However, any applicant who scores a band 4 on the situational judgment test will be automatically disqualified. At the University of Exeter, again, there is no minimum UCAT cutoff score. In past years, however, applicants who scored below 2,500 were not typically invited to interview. At the University of Glasgow, the UCAT does not have a minimum passing score. However, the range of scores that are considered will vary year on year. For example, in 2022, the average UCAT score invited to interview was 2,863. At the University of Glasgow, the situational judgment test is not taken into account. And finally, we have Hull York Medical School. As part of the selection process for the interview, Whole York will look at your UCAT score and your situational judgment test and will give you a score accordingly. After the interviews, they will assign points based on your UCAT situational judgment test band as part of the overall selection process. So we have now reached the end of today's video. There are so many more universities left to cover, so please let me know if there are any specific universities that you want me to go through by leaving a comment below. Please do keep in mind that this information will vary year on year, so it is really important that you are keeping up to date with different universities' official websites. And if you are in any doubt, it is always best to contact admissions teams from universities directly. Your UCAT score is only one part of the application process, there is so much more to consider. So if you are interested in finding out more about how you can apply strategically, then check out this video here. And if you are applying to medical school this year and want to submit the absolute best application possible that really makes you stand out and gets you into your dream medical school, then check out FutureDoc's website where we offer you one-on-one -on -one tutoring and coaching to help you submit the best application where we guide you throughout the entire application process from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.